Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Heart and Soulful back in the studio after 43 days. I looked at the last video that I did because I am so far behind, uh, I, even catching up where I left off, that I had to actually go back and look at that video and I was shocked to see that I knew it had been about a month, but it, it's been longer than that. So if you are wondering where I've been, I have been here uh, between here and Studio B uh, but I was working on a project, and I have done a couple of posts, uh, uh, not videos, but if you look at my posts, I've done two posts to kind of let you know why I was not making videos. I was asked to make um, some Halloween costumes, and if you know me at all, I'm a detail-oriented person, and you ask me to do something, I want to give it 150%, and it kind of is a project that took on a life of its own. Uh, I was asked to make these costumes uh I'm calling it Halloween costumes, but they're really not for Halloween. Um, my son and his wife were invited to a wedding that is a costume wedding, and it's just right before Halloween. And so uh, everybody, including the bride and groom, will be in costume. And so they wanted something kind of Renaissance style. And so I said, sure, I'll I'll take a tackle at it. I've never made costumes before. I I don't make clothing. I've made lots of home decor kind of things. Uh, I used to do some decorating, so I, I have a stash of really beautiful uh, drapery and upholstery fabrics and that kind of thing. So I was able to go through my stash, and uh, uh, other than purchasing some lining fabric, and a couple of little notions and that sort of thing, I actually had all the fabric that I used in this project. So uh, that was a super way, good way to recycle. I had hung on to this stuff not knowing what I would ever do with it. And some of the fabrics I used, I had to kind of coordinate things together to have enough fabric to do all the items, clothing items that I wanted to do. Uh, but some of them, I used up every bit of fabric that I had. So that was great. So they turned out I'm really happy with them. Hopefully they're going to be coming in a couple of weeks to pick them up and do one last fitting. So check out the photos um, in my post and you can see what I have been working on. Uh, the other thing that I had done, um, I'm going to get back to the project that I was on, uh, but prior to starting that, I had also been kind of in the process of cleaning up my studio and reorganizing. And I was getting in the habit of, if I, if I came upon some materials for a project that I had started or had just purchased and wanted to be working on, I kind of stopped everything and did the project. So that kind of got me behind also. One of those projects I'm going to show you because, just quickly, because I think it can t also translate to um, my viewers who are either maybe slow stitching. I can give you some ideas about that or any of the paper crafts. I had some ideas um, that would be fun. So what I have made... Are some toasters. I had found that I had bought the materials um, to make these. I bought a bunch of blanks. I've now um, stained this leather, but I bought, you can buy just blank leather rounds um, and they don't have the holes already. They're just round natural leather. And if my packaging is here, they look like this. So I was thinking if anybody would like a video of how I did these, even though I've already stained them, uh, I would be happy to maybe do a video because again, I think it can translate using other materials besides leather. And I have some ideas about that. So if you wanted to, like say you do gel prints or collage, that kind of thing, to make those your coasters, uh, but do them in kind of a, a little more of a decorative way. Because I do jewelry, I had the leather, uh, one millimeter leather that I used, and then beads that had a big enough hole to use leather. So I've done some in some silver and in some copper colored ones and even just doing them with just stitching. And, you know, I didn't, without even tooling the leather, um, tooling is, you know, doing this kind of designs and things on it. You can also do that. I have not done that, but um, I just wanted some that go with my own decor. And I have lots of areas in the house that I would like to just have, have them and I don't need them all to match. So I kind of just was playing around and may do some with some of my other beads too. So that was just a fun thing that I have been working on, um, some coasters. So that has kind of got me sidetracked. But today um, I want to show you where I'm at on my slow stitching. So if you are just joining me for the first time, welcome. Uh, you're going to find that I do lots of different things. And so I kind of bounce around. I have viewers who may watch me for one reason 
and not another. So I, I like to try to kind of mesh the different things I like to do maybe together or at least maybe give you ideas of how you can incorporate maybe your thing that you like to do into, you know, a home, home decor item or something like that, like the coasters. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to my slow stitching because that's what I was working on. Now in the last video, I hadn't done quite this much. What I have been working on is a journal and it's in a French style. Somebody had asked me if I could reproduce one that I had done previously. And this is in that kind of style, but not the same. And I had used a copy of the cover of the original one that I sold, the old book. And I had made a scan of that and printed it onto fabric to create my own book cover. So I've done that and now I want to cover that spine. And I am doing a slow stitch piece that I'm that will go over the spine this piece if you have not been watching this series uh, there will be a link down in the description uh, of everything I've used so far in this series um, including the kit that I made I made a digital kit with some of these papers uh, for this journal so you'll have um, that also down in the description uh, links to my Etsy shop and, and all that so where I left off this spine was also a printed piece of fabric is what I started with and now I'm just embellishing it and in the last video I had somebody comment I did some stitching uh, on camera I was uh, showing the little rings different things that you can use for like the center of flowers I was showing this and I I did some stitching on camera and I sped it up because I kind of think it's slow to watch somebody just actually stitch. At least I'm slow. And I, I, I had a comment that they didn't really like that I sped it up like that. So my problem for me, other than thinking that might be boring for people to watch me stitch, is that I my eyesight is not very good. And I have a really hard time trying to do this on camera and not getting my head in the shot. Uh, and having it be maybe a pleasant viewing experience for you. So I'm really not going to be, I don't know that I'll do much stitching on camera. Uh, there are a lot of other videos um, that show you how to do specific stitches and that kind of thing that you can find out there. But um, I just don't know that that's going to be my forte because of my my vision. So um, but I do want to show you where I'm at. So I had I'd done some of these flowers and I kind of left off with, doing the embellishment part now at the time when i where i left off i did not have all that much stitching i it it looked pretty simple and plain and i decided as i went along and found my vintage buttons that i put here and there that they looked kind of like they were floating all alone and they were just kind of random so i wanted to really fill in and kind of ground them to my piece and so this one already has this metal and it's got a big stone um, you can see that sticks out that's going to be on the immediate spine uh, and so then I added some other buttons in there that were decorative and some of them were kind of simple so I decided to go ahead and and add petals and different things to them to make them kind of look like the center of a flower in some way and also uh, maybe do some larger flowers because the rows and leaves, the scale of those were so much larger than the small ones that I was adding in. So I, I wanted to do that. Um, I've been, I'm now adding more leaves. I got kind of carried away um, and I'm liking it with more on it. So I think I may even do some more up in here and some more on the back. I've made this vine kind of come up. Um, to do that, when you're kind of laying it out, I've shown you before, how you can take whatever stage you're at, take a color copy of your piece, and then you can draw on the paper without drawing on your piece to see if, um, you know, if you like where you're placing things. To do that, and I've shown this before, there's a link down below, this uh, Pilot Friction Pen. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but that's, um, you wanna look for this. And what that this is, it's a great pen, and I actually used it a lot when I was doing the costumes, is if you, you draw on it and then you use heat um, to remove the ink, it just disappears. So you just use your iron, or in our case, we're, we're stitching over it so you're not really seeing it. But this came in handy um, for marking things on my costume fabric where I could just 
draw a line or something if I needed to or make a mark and then get rid of it. So um, this is a great pen for both doing slow stitching, embroidery, anything like that. Um, so if you don't have one of these, this would be a good tool to have. Anyway, so I have, you know, stitched on my buttons, started turning them into flowers, added some more leaves to fill it in, and then even started filling in with the little different beads. I've got some gold ones here, just little seed beads. I have some little pearls I may add in, and I showed those in the last um, video too, just some different little, some clear ones that I had that I may want to, to add. Oh, and I think I stuck these. Maybe this was going to be the button that I thought. Oh, I stuck these in here because I thought that these this might be my closure for this one, which I still could do. I had forgot that I had this in this little piece too. I was thinking about adding that now I haven't, but you know, maybe I do, we'll see. Anyway, I, I had those in my beads. Um, but in the meantime, you know, it had been a month since I had picked this up and these are really nice glass ones too, um, that might be nice on my cover, but I had found this one in the meantime. Let's see, so if this is my piece, I found this one too, that also is a little glass bead, but it has a little bit of of gold on it too, if you could see. That would look really nice. So anyway, I've ended up, as you can see, doing a lot more, let me pull this back, doing a lot more than I originally intended, but I'm really liking it. So more is more, and I'm, you know, now that I'm kind of getting back into this, sitting down and taking the time. I think when I was working on it before, I had so many different things going on that I was kind of, uh, not, I don't want to say tired of doing this, but I was in a hurry to have it finished. And now that I've picked it back up, I'm not in such a rush anymore. I kind of want to do, you know, some more things on it. So I'm going to do this again. Like I said, I'm going to do this off camera. Sorry, but I just don't think I'm uh, very good at uh, doing the stitching on camera. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go sit down somewhere in the, on this nice, supposed to be rainy day and uh, do a little more work on this. So um, I know this was short. I just wanted to say hello and let you know where I was at and that I was back and that I'm working on our project. And uh, also kind of looking forward to uh, some other, other different kind of videos I might want to do, like the, with the coasters or things like that. It's getting to that time of year. You know, we're getting into fall weather and you're starting to think about maybe Christmas gifts, you know, things like that. So if that might be something that interests you, a couple of other things. I'm working on another thing that all I will say is it has to do with a magnifying glass. And um, it's a, I'm not ready to show you what I'm doing yet, but that'll be another, uh, another kind of sneak peek uh, because it's uh, something that is maybe another great Christmas gift. So uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Now go make something. Bye.